Hello guys and welcome, my name is Aaron Cooper, welcome to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today I've got a best class setup video for you all and this is on the Razorback, one of my most favourite weapons within Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and obviously I do like the Man of War as well. They're bas these Basically these two weapons are two of my most favourite weapons within the game. And within Black Ops 3 there's a lot of weapons you can choose from and I thought, you know what, this weapon should be the next one I should make a best class setup video on because a lot of you guys out there tend to use this weapon and not sure what sort of setups you should use for the weapon to help you dominate online. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to take my time out to find out a good little loadout on a loadout I like to use on this particular weapon that helps me to dominate so I can share it with you guys. So first of all, with this weapon, the Razorback, I, you can use any camo you want for it. Obviously the camo isn't going to affect how you play or nothing. It's just going to give your gun a little bit of life to it. It's going to give it a little bit of colour. So I always use the Dark Matter camo on pretty much any of my weapons all around when I play Black Ops 3. I always use Dark Matter camo. It's just one of my favourite camos to use and it's just an absolute boss camo to use all around. But for optics, I don't use any optics whatsoever. I like to use the iron sights on this gun. It's got pretty good iron sights. And I see it as it helps me a lot when I'm playing multiplayer. And for attachments, I use grip because basically it reduces the recoil when aiming down sight. So it keeps the gun nice and steady, lowers the recoil, and helps you to pinpoint your shots and help you to keep them on target. And for extra mags, basically I like to use as my next attachment as extra mags because more ammo in your magazine means you're going to be getting more bullets into your opponents. So if you've got more ammo, more kills, it's going to be going on a nice little streak if you've got a lot of ammunition. Because I find with this gun it runs out of ammo really quickly. So that's why I always use an extended mag on it. So then I've got more bullets to use. And just think maybe them extra few bullets that you've got in your clip due to extended mag could help keep you alive when you're playing multiplayer when you're going on a nice streak. And into the next attachment now, I've got Rapid Fire. It increases the, the rate of fire for this weapon. Obviously this gun's got a good fire rate, but with Rapid Fire it's going to make the fire rate even better. And I find that it helps so much when you are using this gun. Literally it makes a huge difference. And it helps me a lot guys when I use these attachments on this gun. I don't use any secondaries, no lethals or tacticals guys. Um, but for my perks, in perk 1 I use the 6th sense and basically displays a minimap indicator when the direction of nearby enemies. So if an enemy is near you, it's going to display exactly where they are, like pinpointing a location on where they are. And it helps you to win gunfights if you're unsure where about the enemy is. Without it, you're going to be like, where are they, where are they? But with this, you can go, oh, he's from the left of me. It's around the corner, bang, you can take him down. He doesn't know where you are, but you're going to know where he is. It's going to help out quite a lot, trust me. I use this on Nina for all my classes, and it helps me every single time. And for perk 2, I use fast hands. Um, C2 allows you to switch weapons faster and aim faster after sprinting. Obviously, you're going to be running around a lot when you're playing Black Ops 3, and being able to aim quicker is one of the best advantages you can have. And obviously, when this gun's got no ammunition and you pick a gun up off the floor, being able to switch your weapons rather quicker could help keep you alive as well, especially if you're in a sticky situation and you need to switch your weapons over to help keep you alive and carry on murking your enemies. So, it's good to have them a little advantages, which is why I use Fast Hands. And for Perk 3 now, I use two perks when I'm in perk 3 slot, literally two perks for this one. The first one is Dead Silence because it keeps all my movements and stuff hidden and because a lot of people these days use headsets so they're not going to hear exactly where you are so it does help you out quite a lot because like I said a lot of people use headsets and a lot of people sound hole when they play Call of Duty so if your movements are hidden they're not going to know where you are. And for perk 3, I see it as Engineer, and this is the reason why I use this, because this helps me out so much. Because of the streaks I use, I tend to use low streaks on purpose when I play Black Ops 3. I'm not the sort of person, I do have my moments where I put on really high streaks, but my main strategy is I use low streaks, such as a UAV, counter UAV, counter UAV and a care package. And I use Engineer because let's just say I drop a care package down I get a UAV and I'm like, do you know what, I don't want that UAV. So I can switch it out and 9 times out of 10 when I do that I get something better. There's been times when I switched out a UAV and I got wrapped. And that's like a 3 kill streak and I got wrapped. And I see it as I've had something rubbish in a, in a care package and I switched out I've had like literally rolling funders and stuff. And trust me, it helps out so much guys because you can get them beast streaks for a low like, score streak. Like, you know what I mean, from a care package, but like I say, you can just re-roll it if you're not happy with what you get. And plus, obviously, with Engineer, you can booby trap care packages and much, much more, and it's a lot of fun, trust me. You should try it.
But anyways, guys, um, what else I use? Obviously, on my wild cards, I got primary gunfire to one and the perk three slot for greed, basically, which allows me to take a second perk three um, perk. But basically, they are the best class setup I use for the Razorback. It's a great little gun to use. My setup helps me to dominate on lines. I can get like 70 kill games with this and stuff and have a lot of fun. It really does help out a lot and hopefully it helps out you guys as well if you do try it out. If you do like the setup, give this video a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below in the comment section when you try it out. Let me know what sort of results you get when you're online with it and hopefully it serves you well like it serves me well when I play Black Ops 3. If you've got any other weapons you would like me to do a best class setup on in the nearby future guys, let me know. Leave some comments down below for some of your favourite weapons and I'll get around to doing a best class setup on one of your favourite guns in the nearby future, okay? Have a marvellous day and I'll see you again real soon upon another brand new video. Until then, stay safe and I'll see you again next time.